Hi, my name is Jasmine and I'm a digital content creator for The Jazzy Nation here on YouTube as well as thejazzynation.com. I'm here to share a little bit about myself here on Sandy's channel. So let's start from the beginning. I am from Denver, Colorado in the United States. I was born and raised in Colorado. And believe it or not, I had never traveled outside of the United States before my move to Morocco in 2016 when I married my husband and we literally just moved. We moved to Casablanca, Morocco to be specific and that was such an interesting time in my life. So because I never lived anywhere outside of the United States before Casablanca, Morocco, my life was quite crazy. I did not adjust well when I first moved. It was not as expected either but I will say after about a year or so I found my thing, I found my place, and I really began to love Morocco. I fell in love with Moroccan food and the people and just the country as a whole, and I was so appreciative of the experience that I had, which then led me to being here in India. So I am now living in India, Hyderabad, India, to be exact, and it is so interesting, so very different than Morocco, but there are some similarities which I think has helped me adjust to life here. So when you think about what was the adjustment like from America to India? Well for me the adjustment was pretty simple in that I already knew a lot of the things that I would experience here in India. Living in Morocco did in fact prepare me for the life that I do currently live here in India. So I spent about two years living in Morocco and now I'm about a year and a half into my journey here in India and I would say that I'm finally like settled and ready to take on as many challenges as the world can throw at me. Even being on lockdown here in India, which is super crazy, but life is just such a whirlwind and I am 100% experiencing the whirlwind of life. I think that as an expat, you do feel that when you just really think about your life and put things into perspective. You're not home, you're not at your home base, but the life that you are creating for yourself overseas is so unique and so worthwhile. That's how I feel about just how things have played out thus far and I'm so excited to see where life takes me as just life moves on, the future continues and all of that. So something that has helped me adjust to life abroad in Morocco as well as here in India has been my faith. I am a Christian. So before all of this, coming from a Christian background and being someone who has never really traveled before, I was really, really nervous about how my faith would play out in countries that did not classify themselves as Christian based. I was nervous, especially because you can let what other people say and their ignorance play into how you're going to feel about your faith. And what I've come to realize is my faith has grown so much stronger living overseas because I've just grown closer to God because things are not as familiar and comfortable to me and I actually like that because those feelings have helped me get out into the world and get out of myself to really experience my life a little bit fuller while relying on my relationship with God. So I really am appreciative of all of that. When it comes to other people and my religion, so others that are not necessarily Christian, I love it. I love having friends of so many different backgrounds, of so many different religions, because I love to learn and I love when people share their faith with me because I get to also share my faith back with them as well and it's just something to learn. I'm a learner, I'm a teacher, so I get along super well because there is a respect, a mutual love there, and an appreciation for each other just as human beings. So it's amazing and I'm so thankful for the experiences that I've had thus far when it's come to the people that I've met. I've met amazing people. I will say having a Christian community has also been very helpful so I have uh, Christian girlfriends that I hang out with, that I communicate with and we're able to share our faith just on a deeper level which I really appreciate. We're able to pray with each other and be there for each other and that's great on a different level so it's nice to have friends of like faith as well as people that have different faiths as well because of the learning aspect and just the love that you will garner with just having 
people around you and I think it's a beautiful thing. When it comes to staying connected with my family, I thought that it would be very difficult because Colorado and Hyderabad, we're 12 and a half hours or so away, that's the difference, and I was so worried when I heard about that, when I just like researched the time zone, because I'm like, what is this? This is so crazy, I'm never gonna be able to talk to my family. But come to find out, I can actually talk to my family twice a day if I really wanted to, which sometimes happens. When my parents are waking up, I am getting ready for bed, and when I am waking up, they are getting ready for bed, so we kind of catch each other on the tail ends of our day, which is really, really nice. It's the perfect time to conversate, and I am able to keep up with not only my parents, but my brothers, my nieces, and my nephews, and all my extended family. And, you know, technology is a beautiful thing as well, so WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, all of the things that you all are using, I'm using as well. As long as there's internet, which India has pretty good internet, I'm good to go, so no complaints here. That's it, I think you know enough about me by now. If you have any more questions, leave them down in the comment section below. I will try to stay here on Sandy's channel for a little bit while you all write your comments, we can conversate back and forth. If you have specific questions about my lifestyle here in India or even Morocco or just me in general, check out my channel. I am the Jazz Nation here on YouTube as well as the Jazzy Nation on all the other social platforms so check me out and let's connect Sandy thank you so much for having me on your channel this was fun I cannot wait for you to make an appearance on my channel and for me to just get to know you a little bit better as well I'll see you all maybe in a future video I don't know what this looks like because I don't really know how to end a video on somebody else's channel but this is fun bye <laughs> wow.